Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Suffering. When we last left off, we managed to uh, find a shotgun, which is pretty fantastic. And it's a pretty delicious shotgun as well, I might add. Anyway, let's keep moving, progressing. Do we really have to go down there? I find that slightly questionable, to be honest. Go there, Chief. You look like you've had a bad time. Ah, uh, I mean, okay, I'm guessing this is the way we came, and let's turn that flashlight off for a second, wait, right, yes, this is the way we came, I remember stuff that I did a few days ago, honest, okay, so let's take our shotgun for a walk and see what we can bump into. Hopefully some ghouls. Let me turn my headset up because it's very quiet. Okay, we didn't actually get hit. Or hurt, I should say. Which is surprising because last time... Evening. Last time we did take... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, last time we did take a hell of a hit. Happy that that is not the case. So I guess we can't do anything super useful with this. No, maybe not. Oh, we can go in here though. I don't think you understand what we do here. There is not enough blood on your hands. Try harder. Uh, actually, I'm good. I don't feel the need to murder innocent people. Yeah, I will do. I bet we can't go back up there. Can we? Oh, hello. What's on the roof? Ooh, hello. Right, that makes sense. Because we're kind of out of luck going back that way. All right, run and jump up there. Yeah. Oh God. Fine. Don't like the look of this. Calm down, man. Stay away. Stay away. Look, I ain't gonna be murderizing you as long as you, you you you're cool. All right. You keep that piece packed away in your pants. And uh, everything's going to be alright. You can cry to your mum all you like. You're going to die. Lord, protect me. You're absolutely going to be killed in this place. But it ain't going to be by me. Mama. Ooh. What else we got here? Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just losing all of your... Your goodies. Nah, he ate. Yeah, well, your gods abandoned you a long time ago, brother. But, uh, don't panic. Look, that's fine. It's all good. I'm, I'm staying. Alright. They are everywhere. But that's why you should grab yourself a shotgun. Alright, you'll feel a lot better if you've got a big shotgun. Ooh. There we go. That works. In fact, they just stood there and awaited their inevitable death. Right, so how far do we have to go? Get out of here. How far do we have to go before we uh, essentially have saved this man? But should we be... Are we going to go down there? <clears throat> Definitely don't want to do that. But it doesn't matter. There's millions of them. Some weird gaping hole. Haven't been in a gaping hole for a while. So let's uh, let's fix that, shall we? Ooh. Alright, guys. Calm down. There we are. Should solve their problem. 
Now, we've got a pushable box here. Did you really survive? Ah, you dick. Well, that's alright. My rather large shotgun. It's going to sort your problem out in a minute. Um. Okay. So this one is kind of redundant. So let's just aim it over there in that general direction. Because maybe, just maybe, we're going to be heading down there at some point. All right. Wait a minute. I can't help shake the feeling that we could probably do something with that barrel. Hmm. Um. It can't just be there for show, surely. Or can it? Oh, that hurts. Yeah, we're on fire and now we're dropping to our death. Well, that was incredibly awkward. Son of a bitch. That's actually not too bad. That's fine. This guy panics a little bit too much, I think. You know, he's massively overexposed himself. All he had to do is... You know, grab a shotgun. Ooh. Could we, like, push that thing all the way down here, maybe? Is that going to, like, break that? I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, let's see if we can burn all of these guys. Ah, maybe we can't. Alright, I think this thing has a rather limited range. Uh, right, well, yeah, not sure what that does, so let's just go downstairs. Isn't there, like, wasn't there a button that we could push to go down ladders quicker? Wow, there's a lot of explosives here. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Guessing we need to blow this door. Or at least blow all this stuff. Now, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, that pushed that poor little Pentium 3 about as far as it could possibly go. Malcolm and Corey. Why do we always have to play ball with Mom? Corey always wanted to play with his father. But where were you? I was in prison. You know that I was in prison, alright? I was murdering bigots. Right, here we go. I suppose these days it wouldn't be the Aryan Brotherhood that you'd be murdering, it'd be like Harry Potter fans. They're the modern bigot, apparently. Oof, that hurts. Although, fun fact. I actually watched Harry Potter uh, 2, I think it was. On my birthday, when this is. First time I've ever seen it. Pretty good. Pretty good film. Alright. Yeah. I haven't seen the others. Oh, I did watch the first one a few months ago. Again, pretty good. Enjoyed it. Oof, God. Must play Hogwarts Legacy at some point. But, you know, time is a harsh mistress. There we go. There's copious amounts of shotgun shells. I guess these guys aren't bothered by the light. The light fantastic. And we're going to need to heal up in a minute. Alright, cool. We good? Excellent. Now we can call these guys into the flame. The Holy Flame. Yes. Excellent. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's a funny thing, that, isn't it? Everybody 
going off about Harry Potter these days. Yet you can read Mein Kampf without uh, any issues. Don't get labelled a bigot for reading that. Ah, people are fickle. Anyway, let's grab some more of this. We're going to have... Oh, we've still got eight. Loads of tabs. That's cool. Oof. Right. I guess we can go through here. We cannot go through here. Curious. What about here? There's lots of supplies and stuff in rooms that we apparently can't get into. But whatever. That's fine. It's going to keep pushing forwards. Unless we come back through there later, I guess. That's controller vibrates like hell when we're here. Wonder why. Maybe because we're close to the fire, even though the fire is above us. Alright. Let's get going. Oh, we can go through that. Oh. Who's being exterminated? My dark side. Alright, cool story. I guess none of your patients have complained because they're already dead. That's probably why. Urgent note. Right, well, let's go have a look at this urgent note. Radio is working, but can't contact the mainland. There's some kind of interference. It's bizarre. Seems it's coming from the west. Must be the asylum. Somebody else needs to go out there and fix it. Have to go through the quarry. I ain't going, though. I'm not that crazy. All right, well, I guess we're crazy. So we're going to be heading off to the quarry, I guess. Uh, that roof has too much fire on it for my liking. Um, definitely too much fire. I guess, though. Alright. Ah! Got ya. This drops us down here. So, can we go through here? Oh! I guess we can. Darkest night, eternal blight. Well, this place looks delightful. Not overly sure. The light's helping us that much. Alright, so we've got to activate a breaker, I guess? That we can do. That we can do. Oh, hello. Evening. That looks like they're all pretty angry up there. Look, stop being a bitch and come down and fight. There we go. Was that so hard? That shotgun wasn't doing us a huge amount of fate. Ooh, hello. I haven't seen one of you for a while. Let's put some more shells in this bad boy. Why don't you come down and face me? If I could stop having images flash up on the screen, that would help. Can't see what I'm doing when I'm seeing a JPEG squished up on the screen. Funny how that works. Aha! 
I like it when you guys come to me. It's a lot easier than me trying to figure out how to get to you. Now, why is that fella on fire? I don't think he's having the best time of his life. He's probably having the last time of his life, to be honest. Aha! Ooh! Now that's a load of supplies. Shame we can't pick any of it up, mind you. Now, now. Play nice. I guess we can't get up there. Ooh! Really? These butt nuggets now? Well, as we have some Tommy gun up here, oof, let's give him some of this. I don't know, guys. The Tommy gun just ain't that great. I don't know what to tell you. It's unfortunate. It's not doing the crazy amount of damage that it kind of needs to do. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's as good as the other weapons we have. But plenty of revolver ammo. Come down and fight, you absolute corn cutter. Come on. You're not stuck on a track up there. Seriously. You have... Oh, he's... Dying. Alright. Uh, well, I guess we won. Hey, I thought there was ammo up here. For my... No? Alright. Now, are we going to horribly die if we try and jump? I guess not. Uh, <clears throat> Choose some pills. I mean, logic says we need to get up there, but we can't... Oh, unless... Hang on. There we go. And then onto that guess. No, because we can't actually jump onto that. Just curious. Ah! Well, I'm a bell end. That's fine. I expect to be a bell end. It's kind of, you know, what I do. I don't know if there's ever stuff in there. These big... No, it doesn't look like there's ever loot. But that's fine. It's not as if supplies are really that rare. Cool. I don't mind the reloading animation for this gun. I don't know. It's something like satisfying about it. Knock knock. Ooh. Definitely needed those batteries. Certainly take a shotgun. Ooh. See what I mean by supplies being like literally everywhere? I, mean, I suppose it makes sense. In a... Well, I don't know, actually. Does it make sense? Would there really be that many, like, flashbangs? In a prison? I guess it's a maximum security prison. But, uh, you know, whatever. I guess it means we... We shouldn't be as sparing with them as we actually are, I suppose. Is what we should take away, but... You also don't... Ah, you just don't seem to need them. We certainly could have uh, knocked the difficulty up a bit, I think. Ooh. Archive page unlocked. Prison cemetery. I haven't had one of those for a while. Prison cemetery. When an inmate dies and his family does not claim the body, he is buried here. The cemetery is named after the infamous corrections officer, Hermes T. Haight. He was in charge of executions for several decades before finally killing himself in the gas chamber. Oof. Also buried here is notorious inmate Horace Gage, who savagely killed his wife on a conjugal visit. 
To me, the cemetery is the most bleak and depressing place on all of Carnate. Hang on. Horace Gage, who savagely killed his wife. Isn't... Are these the um, weird people that we keep seeing? I should probably read the lore of this game. Hermes T. Height, or Hate, in charge of executions for several decades before finally killing himself in the gas chamber. Yeah, is that the little gassy guy that's floating around? I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm guessing we're missing a lot of these, which is a bit of a shame. I do like to play a game first. Generally, before I start recording it, but with this one being the sort of game that it is, I thought, you know, we'll go through this one blind. I think I've got a... My turn? My turn for what? Killing myself? Well, I don't think so. It's not really high up my list. So we've got a couple of choices. Hmm. Can you now? Hmm. That's what I've been saying for so long. I don't really want to jump in that. Ooh. The clan? Isn't that, um... The clan that we murdered our way through. Well, I'm Ginger. So, so I don't have a soul. There. The bad man caught us. I just wanted to be with my children. He abandoned us. Why didn't Daddy save us? So many mistakes. It isn't fair. Why couldn't we live forever? It hurts so much. Dad was never there. The bad man caught us. I just wanted to be with my children. He abandoned us. This was your life, T. How did you let it get away? What part of that was mine? The murdering. Or the enjoying my time with my children. So, did we not kill our family? I mean... Ooh... TNT. Oh, dude. Alright. That's going to add a little bit more pop to our uh, arsenal. So, I'm guessing we didn't kill them. I know there's three different endings to this game. So, I'm probably going to have to play it through. Three different times. But that's okay. Because I'm actually really enjoying this. I let some of mine out right after the quake. Then one cocksucker tried to shiv me. So Oof. thanks. Typical. Wasn't for the inmates, none of us would need to be on this godforsaken rock in the first place. I gave him a chance when I first got here. Those fuckers never cut me an inch of slack. They're no better than rabbit animals. The way they treat each other, the way they treat us. That's right. I got shit down by this punk just last week. Fuck, that's the worst. <laughs> It's a goddamn zoo in there. Maybe Hargrave's got the right idea. No, that jar is just out of control. We had to get out of there. Give that nut long enough, he would have started capping COs he thought didn't suck his dick good enough. <laughs> yeah, so Hargrave's the one in charge. 
Hey, look. All right, look. We could have been friends, all right? Just saying. Could have all been pals. They're coming out of the goddamn trees. What, we got Predator to deal with now? Well, if it was Predator, I'd rather have a Gatling gun. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Uh-oh. Let's have some fun with the dual revolvers. Dual revolvers, these are just fucking badass. So I know there's a good ending, like a intermediate ending and a bad ending. So we're going to have a good play around with that. Although... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm going to have to play through this game three times, aren't I? Oh, hello. That's new. Um. Enemies? Question mark? God knows. Dead bodies? Oh, no running, kids. I suppose they can run wherever they want. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Where do you guys come from? Just spring out of the ground like that. Bit cheating, if you ask me. Yeah, these guys are probably one of my favourite enemy designs in any horror game. Something about them is just really cool. Like the way they just lay down and they've got this whole like gun um, assembly on their back. Really freaking cool. It's nice to see a type of enemy that you haven't really seen in a game before. I can appreciate the hell out of that. And this game, um, it's definitely unique, that's for sure. I do have the sequel as well. So. There's that. Ties that bind or something. Ooh, Tommy gun ammo. Don't mind if I do. Right. So where are we heading next? Uh... I mean, logic says we've got to go up there. Uh, must be here somewhere. Ah, wait. Nope. Not lost. How can we get lost? Unless we've got to go. So that kid. Ah. That kid we saw was here. Should I like, run up here or something? No. Do we have a map of this place? We do. Okay. So we're off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, yep. So we're there. Hit. So surely we need to go up here somewhere. Okay. Again, we've gone off the path. I'm guessing we need to go down the pit somehow. Uh, not that way. What's this way then? Ah. All right. This looks like some some proper bullshit. Let's give the game a save and hope we don't die. Uh, well, well, I mean. That was a pretty anticlimactic death. Not 
not not gonna deny that. We're actually on half an hour here as well. Uh, unless we jump over here, like so. Oh, okay. All right. That worked, I think. Right. Down. Okay. All right. Not quite Mario, but... Ooh, more TNT. Uh, if we... Really? We die from that sort of height? Bloody hell. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, we were barely, you know, three feet up. Still, we've got a rough idea now of how to get down. There. There. Grab the boomsticks. Really? We're going to die if we fall down there? That doesn't seem right, Chief. Let's jump up there. Uh, are we, like, stuck down here now? Because if we are, that's kind of bad. Yeah, my god. Alright. So, do we not get the TNT? Very apprehensive to save it down here. So... Okay. Seriously, how did we get the TNT? Uh, probably not like that. Probably. Right, well, we've committed now. <laughs> Alright, how about we just... We just don't jump anywhere. Because jumping seems to equal instant death. Not a huge fan of the instant death on jumping. Ah. I see. Right. Yep, even just falling down. What the? Okay. That's fine. Wait, is that just these shitty guys? Under... Alright, well, if it's just them underground, we can handle them. That ain't no problem. Look like something weird is tunneling underneath underneath us anyway. Yeah, so I've no idea how we get that TNT. Oh. What is that? I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be bothered by us, so we're going to leave it alone. Probably for the best, you understand. Ooh, archive page unlocked the quarry. Oh. The quarry. At the same time the prison started operation, digging commenced at Carnate Quarry. Prisoners were forced to work this quarry for 12 hours a day, Oof. cutting the rock that would be used to build the prison walls. Work conditions in the quarry were far from ideal. Inmates who complained were severely disciplined. Carnate Quarry has not been in use since the 1960s, with its mining equipment simply abandoned where it stood to rust and collapse. Oof. Well, guys, I guess that's where we are now. So with that, we're going to save it. And when we come back, hey, we're going to go explore the quarry and see if there isn't a beep that we can boop. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.